Hello, this is Matt's Amazing Mazes, and I'm doing a review on Tar, uh, he heavy metal rock group, who did a song called The Blood of Heroes. Now, to me, Jesus Christ is a hero, and he shed his blood of for atonement that we may live forever that is if you believe in that sort of way now i develop a topical discussion called there is much more to life jesus makes life possible i'm going to go on ahead and start it Right now with paragraph one. Prosperity, peace, a good life. How desirable these things are. But how do you spend our days? Men who support their families often work at jobs that they do not enjoy. And not a few constantly face the threat of unemployment. For many housewives, there are long days of drudgery with little relief day after day and no great satisfaction. Great numbers of young people grow up with a similar life prospect, even for the few who feel that life has treated them more kindly, the future is clouded with uncertainty. Paragraph 2. Really, is that all there is to life? Look, where you will in the world, the system seems to be ailing badly. It has its energy crisis and runaway inflation, food shortages, and pollution of the environment. Revolutions cold and hot wars, stockpiling of nuclear weapons, racial problems, and surging discontent among the masses of mankind. No part of the earth is free from problems that pose a threat to human life and survival. Paragraph 3 some people seem to have the attitude, who cares, so long as it does not touch me, but how short-sighted. The unescapable conclusion is that, every, that, that very soon these problems will touch the lives of everyone. Paragraph 4. Man was created to live in glorious paradise, but his continued enjoyment of it depended on obedience. The Bible explains in one scripture that the world and death through sin and thus death spread to all men because they had all sin. Thus, because we are the descendants of disobedient Adam. We have all had to travel this disagreeable road for far removed from the perfection that the parents of the human family enjoyed in paradise. How bumpy and unpleasant has that road become in recent years? It is a broad and wide road with many dead ends like a spacious maze entrenched with traps, and none of the politicians of wise men of the world have been able to show the human family the way to escape from it. For each individual on it, the dead ends is death and destruction of the entire world of mankind has become a distinct possibility. Paragraph 5. 
But look, a ray of light shines onto a side road, a narrow way that leads back from the broad road toward the maze. This would be the labyrinth, a one-way path without dead ends and spacious outer walls. But at first sight, it looks extremely cramped. It would be difficult to make the turn into it. The large family of people who are now traveling recklessly down the broad and spacious maze choose to ignore the narrow straight way. They prefer to, to go along with the crowd. The great majority of the people keep to the broad and spacious maze for convenience and for the temporary th thrills that it provides. They pay no heed to further warnings of the danger of dead ends ahead, but some alert persons turn into the narrow way. It presents some hardships for them, and they have to be watchful. But in time, it becomes pleasant for traveling, and in the end, it leads them to the, a restored paradise of plenty. What a pleasure it is for them to feast their eyes on that delightful, peaceful paradise. Paragraph 6 That paradise, that labyrinth, that leads to life. It's your relationship with the only one true God, which gave his only begotten Son an atonement for our sins that we may live forever. The Holy Bible says that Jesus is the way and the truth and the life. John chapter 14 verse 6 And through Jesus Christ we have a relationship with the only true God, is something that excels far greater than anything a Heavenly Father had ever done for us. So before I end this special presentation, I'd like to share 1 John chapter 4, verse 1 with you, which says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. So try the spirits, give them a good test to see if they are from the only one true God. Why not start your journey here at jw.org?